go with the flow the psychologist and a team of researchers at a university of chicago were the first to describe and name the concept of flow that state of concentration people get into when they feel fully involved in what they are doing in the flow state people become less self aware and less distracted by outside concerns like what time it is or how hungry they are people describe it as losing yourself in the process or being in the zone experiencing flow is an excellent way to distress your brain these researchers work identified intrinsic motivation as key to the flow experience people who have intrinsic motivation can find the positives even in difficult situations making them happier more optimistic and more creative than those who don't cultivate intrinsic motivation and who are only motivated by external rewards like getting a paycheck when you are in flow your brain gets bath in feel good chemicals like dopamine and endorphins tasks that are too simple don't produce this state because they cause boredom and the tasks that are too complex don't produce this state either because they cause stress and frustration the task must be just right requiring you to challenge your skills you also need to care about what you are doing if you think the task is pointless then even if it stretches your skills you are unlikely to find flow one way to add flow to your life is to add a complexity to simple tasks like trying to do them quickly another is to add purpose to task such as thinking about how much more relaxing your house will feel if it's not so cluttered finally you can seek out activities known to produce flow such as hiking painting and writing so these are the states of your brain in, in the while doing the task so you have to maintain the task which are which use your skills to keep active and uh, without frustration stress it should not uh, cause any stress or frustration and also it should not cause boredom to your brain so use your complete skills to produce some results